Louisiana Beer Reviews, Senna Breischoff Porter, product of Finland, 7.2% alcohol. Senna Breischoff Porter was introduced in 1957. The brewing company was actually, they started brewing in 1819 in Finland, which at the time was controlled by the Russian Empire. Imported by B United International Reading, Connecticut. And they have some website information there. Ingredients are water, barley malt, starch, hops, and yeast. Starch. That's strange that they list that. Um, would that starch be coming from corn or maize, as they say in England? I think that's probably the case. Uh, best before. E2-1505L, which means nothing to me. Little 11.2 ounce ripoff bottle. This Porter Imperial Stout, really 7.2% alcohol. They're saying on there. They really say that on the website. Oh, and it's been a Carlsberg Group brand since 2011. Uh, they use Vienna, München, and Munchen chocolate and caramel malts. The, the, the hops are Hallertal and Saz hops. They use a young, fresh yeast for every new batch. 93 out of 100 on Beer Advocate. 95 out of 100 for the style. 99 out of 100 on Rape Beer. 99. And a 98 out of 100 for the style. So it gets extremely high scores. And this company, if you look at their website, the, the uh, Senna Bryshaw, they produce a lot of like real insipid mass produce cheap beers you know flavored beers like we would have here Miller Chill or Bud Light Lime so this is sort of a oh, look at that smoke sort of a specialty beer they make that's probably very low in volume as far as their sales most of it just cheap party beers okay uh, if you look at the website you'll see what I mean very thick uh, tan head and the appearance now the sun is a little too high in the sky 85 degree angle but uh, it's a black beer it's probably if I had done it earlier instead of 10 45 in the morning if I'd done it there it would be it would probably be ruby let's see I'm not picking up any ruby though it's just super dark brown almost black let's go with the aroma uh, very roasted dark roasted bre uh, barley malt brown bread crust sweetness sugar maybe a little corn um, it's just a full maybe coffee and chocolate it's just a full strong porter or stout now you know some beer sites, they don't differentiate between stout and porter. But it smells nice. Let's go with the flavor. By the way, I purchased this at Stein's Deli in New Orleans, Louisiana. That is such a rich beer. It is so rich and sweet. Um, you get licorice, you get dark chocolate, you get coffee, you get dark fruits like dark cherries, sugar, barley malt, maybe the corn starch. It's probably what they're using, corn starch. Um, some astringency. Um, the bitterness is there, but it's not so, so strong or prominent. It's probably balanced out by the heavy, heavy sweet malt. So, the IBU probably is around 35 or 40. It just doesn't seem that high because of the sweetness. As you can imagine, the mouthfeel is heavy. It's thick. It's super sweet. Although the alcohol is not really coming through on this so, so heartily. And the finish is um, mostly dry. It's um, sweet. It's enjoyable. It's a, it's a dessert-like beer. I don't know why I'm drinking it in the summer. Well, actually, I do know why, because I found it, I bought it, and I figured I'd try it. <laughs> but um, it's probably more like a winter beer. Uh, well, it's only about 92 degrees right now, and it's only going to get up to about 97. 
actually the humidity doesn't feel so so heavy right now it's sort of on the dry I would think the uh, the dry side I think the uh, relative humidity is probably only about 45 degrees right now a uh, 45 uh, percent right now well I agree with the ratings on beer advocate and rate beer um, it it's super wasn't expensive. I don't think it was about two fifty a bottle, and for something so rare or rare around here and um, exquisite in flavor, it's worth it. Um, you might want to wait till winter time to try it, but uh, I'm really enjoying it. <sighs> Look at that creamy head. What a wonderful dessert beer. It's A+. Plus, A+, plus all the way. This is uh, an outstanding beer. Outstanding. So, les et les bon temps relais. I'm so glad I bought it. I was able to buy it and try it. I love looking at the bottle and the label. It's kind of a neat looking thing. I, I, I don't think I've ever had a beer from Finland before. I don't recall. Um... <coughs> It says number four on there. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It might be the fourth incarnation of this uh, of their porters. Good, good thing to try to find out. So anyway, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.